uh, in this video, I would like to explain a simple solved problem on Gauss's law. The question is that there is a uniform electric field. The field strength is 100 newtons per coulomb. The direction is horizontal, pointing from left to right. Then a vertical plane surface is placed right in the middle of that electric field so that the field passes through the vertical plane surface. The shape of that surface is rectangular. The dimensions are 2 meters by 5 meters. We have to find the electric flux passing through the vertical plane surface. So let's uh, take a charged body and we just draw some arrows pointing from left to right as shown in the sketch. And then we start to solve this uh, problem. We now proceed to sketch the problem. We draw the electric field in arrows pointing from left to right. Draw the rectangular plane surface, put in the dimensions 5 meters and 2 meters. That makes the surface area equal to 10 meters squared. And since the surface is exactly perpendicular to the direction of the electric field, the normal to the surface is along the electric field. So cos 0 is 1, therefore we don't have to do uh, E into dA cos theta. We can simply multiply the electric field by the surface area and we will get the flux. So doing that, we'll get 100 into surface area 2 into 5, that's 1000 uh, Newton per coulomb into meter squared. We now take a look at the units. Uh, it's uh, quite simple to write down the units for flux. So write flux is E into surface area. So electric field is Newton per coulomb and surface area units are meter squared. So multiplying both, you'll get Newton per coulomb into meter squared. That's all there is to getting the units for flux. Since I it's easy to derive it on the spot. So thank you. Uh, if you found this video to be useful, uh, please give a like and share it with friends and subscribe to this channel. Uh, you're also welcome to log into the website to see all the chapters that there are to see. Uh, have a great day and bye-bye.